Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about another application of randomized algorithm, which is nothing but global min cut. Global minimum cut problem. So what is this problem? So already in this network flow algorithm, so we just discussed one of the minimum cut problem. So what do you mean by minimum cut? So you will be given one undirected graph. Either undirected or a directed graph. In case of a network minimum cut problem, we have given the directed graph, and from that graph, you will be, uh, you can uh, make one cut in the graph, right? So that cut, which is nothing but partitioning the given graph into two sets. So the first partition will be holding some set of vertices. and all those vertices will belongs to the source node so we'll be having two nodes separately so one is source node and another one is target node source node is nothing but the flows number of outflows that we can get from the source node and number of inflows that we can give it to the target node so if you look at this in the st cut problem so you will if you cut in the middle of the graph and obviously it, it will be a directed graph so what happens there uh you are just doing the partitions you are just making two partitions of the same graph so the first partition will be consist of set of vertices that will belong to source node and the second partition uh, will be the set of vertices that will belong to the target node so this is what the st cut problem and we will be finding what could be the capacity value of those cut so we need to find out what is the capacity value and we need to submit all the capacity values of different number of edges which the cut that has been enabled on that particular edges so that is what the capacity of that cut so if you have more than one cut in the same graph then obviously we can able to find out what could be the uh, capacity of those two cuts respectively right so here uh first i will tell you what is the difference between the minimum cut and the st cut problem so minimum cut which is nothing but now what you are going to discuss under this randomized algorithm so here we have uh, given one graph and that will not said to be the directed graph that it be a um, undirected graph but in case of st cut problem so we will be getting only the directed graph and here we don't have any two separate nodes like source node and the sync node or the target node so obviously we will be having only the number of vertices in the given graph we don't have any source node or the target node cut of g so cut of a comma b which means if you have one cut in the graph and if that cut a comma b which means size of ab which is nothing but the number of edges the number of edges with one end that has been connected with a and the other end that has been connected with b so that is what size of ab so how many number of edges we have the uh, the all the edges that one end that has been connected with a and another end that has been connected with b so what is the meaning of a and b a and b is nothing but if you cut the graph so your graph will have two partition so the first partition we are just calling it as a and the second partition we are calling it as b okay some set of vertices will be there in the partition a and some remaining set of vertices will be there in the b but we don't have any separate node as we have in the st cut like source source node and the target node okay and here we are mentioning the size of ab which is nothing but the number of edges whatever we have and in those edges one end will be connected with the a and other end will be connected with the b so this is what size of ab so what is the meaning of minimum cut which means we should have only the minimum size we should have only the minimum size so how many number of edges we have so if you have only the minimum number of edges like 2 or 1 if you have only the minimum number of edges in the graph and that we can call it as a minimum cut and what is the meaning of global minimum cut so one more difference between this minimum cut and the st cut in case of st cut so uh, mostly we will draw the cut in the middle of the graph otherwise we can draw anywhere but in case of st cut so uh, maximum we will draw only at the middle of the graph but in case of global minimum cut it is not like that wherever we want we can 
uh, draw this cut we can have this cut in the graph wherever we can we want okay that is what one more difference so these are all some of the difference between the global mean cut and this st cut so global so and also it has this global mean cut has one specific property that is robustness so robustness means so it will have only the smaller number of edges in the graph okay so it will have only the smallest number of edges so that is what global mean cut and we can have the cut anywhere in the graph it does not mean that you should draw only in the middle or you should draw only in the left of side or in the right of side like something like that we don't have any condition so that is what the global mean cut okay so now let us see in case of st cut so if you take um, uh, now let us see what are all the similarities between this global mean cut and the st cut so if you have one graph so in case of global mean cut we will be getting only the undirected graph we will be getting only undirected graph now we have to change this graph into a directed graph that is what the first step we need to change this given graph into a directed graph how can we change it how can we change it so we need to uh, change this one particular indirected uh, undirected edge as a directed edge like this okay like this we can able to change any undirected graph to a directed graph so if you change it what happens it will become a multi graph so what is the meaning of multi graph so it will it will become multi graph what is the meaning of it multi graph means so we can have more than uh, more than one edge we can have more than one edge for same set of nodes for same pair of vertices if you have more than one edge then it is said to be multi graph so which means uh, in simpler we can say if you have multiple edges with this for the same pair of vertices we can call it as a multi graph so now it is a multi graph so if you change the given undirected graph to a directed graph then it will become multi graph right now so you are going to include this source node and the target node because we are going to find out what is the similarities between the st cut and the global mean cut so now first if you follow one cut so if you it is since it is a global mean cut so wherever we want we can draw this cut in the graph so if you draw one cut here so what happens here this will become the a partition and this will become the b but b partition so a partition will have only one set of node which is yes and b partition will have all other remaining vertices let it be 1 2 3 4 and like this okay so what is the meaning of it if it is n minus 1 directed edge min cut it is n minus 1 directed edge min cut problem or the graph so now it will look like n minus 1 directed edge min cut graph so in this way you have to cut all the edges so you need to find out how many number of edges that it has on the cut so if it is a minimum cut then it is it is a one solution and again if you are recursively you need to perform all these things until your graph holds only the minimum number of edges this is one way this is also said to be the randomized approach because wherever we want we are uh, uh, making this cut in the graph so it is not supposed to draw only in the middle of the graph or in the right side of the graph wherever we want we can draw it right so it is said to be n minus 1 directed edge min cut so first we have this cut here so now we have minimized because it has only two number of edges on this cut then again you need to cut in the next part of the graph and again you have to uh, make it as a minimum number of edges so you have to make the minimum size of the cut and so if you follow this particular process so it is a time consuming process it takes more time so we are just moving to the next topic that is contraction algorithm so we have one specific algorithm called contraction algorithm so by this algorithm we can able to solve this global min cut problem by the implementation of randomization so let us see how we are performing this contraction algorithm so here the given input graph is a multi graph so directly we are getting this multi graph as a input g equal to v comma e 
multiple parallel edges between the same pair of nodes that is what multi multi graph now so we have one example here okay so here this is what a given example so initially we have one multi graph so it consists of four nodes a b c d now you are performing the, you are going to perform the contraction algorithm here so for that first step is you need to select any one of the edge from the graph so here the input graph each and every uh, node or the vertices that consists of at most one at most one so what happens here so what happens here so here we are going to select any one of the edge so first if you select this particular edge a to b so after selecting any one of the edge randomly okay randomly we are going to select the edge afterwards we are perform we are going to perform the contraction method what is contraction so we going to merge these two nodes into one node so here we have two different nodes we going to merge it as a single node so we are going to represent with the symbol called w okay so now this will become w w node which means we have just combined these two nodes into one one single node and whichever the edges we have from this this will be deleted or removed from the graph and you have one more edge from b to c and from a to c also we have one edge so we are just drawing that edge only and what is the name of this node this is a comma b and we are just representing it as w so w is nothing but it will hold the set of vertices it will hold the set of vertices not a single vertex okay again you are recursively performing the contraction method on the graph now so this is a multi graph g so after performing this this will become g dash it is a graph g dash so now again you need to perform repeatedly so selecting any one of the edge randomly and again performing the contraction algorithm so contraction means you need to merge two different nodes into a single node and afterwards you should delete whichever the edge we have in between those two nodes and afterwards you have to reduce the number of edges okay so how we are performing now you was if you select any one of the edge randomly so what happens here you are just selecting this edge so this particular node has two par that is a parallel node so obviously you are going to select these two parallel nodes and you will be merging these two nodes so these two nodes already it is uh, a comma b and this one we have c so if you merge it so it will become a b c and obviously we have one edge to d one is from c and another one is from a to a b right so from these two nodes we have separately the edges and that edge has been drawn from these two node between these two node so this is actually d and this one is a b c so we will be having the two edges in between these two nodes so only two edges so we have reached the graph that has only two edges so that is what the minimum cut so size of the minimum cut is only 2 so if you have only two edges in the graph then we can stop this uh, process so we are not going further for to perform this contraction method so we'll stop this and this will be written as a final solution final output okay so let's see the algorithm so here we have the algorithm this is a contraction algorithm it applied to four node so it's a multi graph g v uh, v comma e for each node v we will record the set s of v of nodes that have been contracted into v okay so initially s of v equal to v for each v so if suppose in initially in the input graph itself if it consists of only two nodes s1 uh, sorry v1 and v2 then we will be returning only these two nodes uh the cut of s comma v1 and s comma v2 as the final output but if you don't have uh, such graph then we will be going to the else part choose an edge e equal to u comma v of g uniformly at random let g dash be the graph resulting from the contraction of e with your new node z uv so here instead of z uv we can also give it as a w so combination of any two nodes replacing u and v 
so define s of z u v equal to s of u union s of v so we are just performing the merging operation or the union operation between two different nodes apply the contraction algorithm recursively to g dash and if okay so to g dash again and again we keep on performing this contraction algorithm so until you reach the graph that holds only two number of vertices or two number of edges this is what the global min cut problem and uh, how we are solving this using this contraction algorithm with the implementation of randomization so we are just solving it okay thank you